morning and welcome to our third and final installment of the all new 2024 Tacoma. Thank you everyone for joining us here today. Of course, we launched this and we began back in the beautiful island of Hawaii on the mountains of Kona. And at that time we had talked to you guys all about a Tacoma for everybody. And there we introduced and explained that we would have eight different grades. Fast forward a few months from then, we were out in the beautiful hills of Malibu and we started to introduce our most popular, or based on a volume, I should say, our, our volume driven uh, models. That was our double cab with our iForce powertrain. We also uh, introduced uh, the different grades, for example, the SR5, the TRD lineup with both the off-road package as well as the sport package. We introduced our limited. And then we also shared with you guys our all new extra cab, uh, including our entry powertrain and our pre-runner. Today, we're here to talk about the final piece of this puzzle here. And that is our new iForce Max. And that is our hybrid powertrain. This is our most premium powertrain. This will feature 326 horsepower and 465 pound-feet of torque. That is accomplished using the same L4 turbo and eight speed transmission. But the secret in between those is a electric motor generator. And that's what gives us that additional peak power and that electric assist. In addition, of course, many people have been waiting to see both our TRD Pro uh, as well as our Trail Hunter. And we'll walk around a little bit today on the Trail Hunter and talk a little bit about that. Hopefully you've had a chance also to see that in the iForce Max, we will be introducing that in the TRD Sport the TRD Off-Road, which will upgrade to a 33-inch tire. Uh, in addition, we'll have our Limited, which will feature full-time four-wheel drive, which is a first for Tacoma. And that is using our, our, our Torsen Center Differential. Uh, then, of course, we get into our, our, our premium, our Halo grades as well. So we'll, keep, we'll begin there. Um, what we've been able to do on the, on the hybrid powertrains, uh, there are some additional uh, mechanical uh, things that happen underneath the skin um, that we'll be offering. So don't want you to sleep on that. Uh, in particular, all of the hybrids, uh, we talked about this, uh, I think in, in Malibu, all the hybrids will feature our high angle, uh, high torque front uh, drive shafts. What that allows us to do is to go from 26 degrees of flex to 31 degrees, so five additional degrees of freedom. But more importantly, that spline structure is designed for that high torque that this powertrain can deliver. So we did roll that down into the off-road package as well on the iForce. Uh, just because we know people, uh, when they're off-roading, you're going to be in that situation where you're flexing out a little bit. In addition to that, of course, we're running with our 12.3, sorry, 12.4 inch front disc brakes. The rears will be upgraded to a 12.3 rear disc as well in the hybrid powertrains. So let's talk about the all new Trail Hunter. And we begin here with, why do we have another Halo truck? So let's go back in time, uh, about four years when we were doing the development concept for this. We wanted to take our TRD Pro to the next level. TRD Pro has always been about Baja inspired racing. It's about adrenaline fueled fun out in the desert. To do that, you want to be light, you want to be nimble, and you want to be fast. And as we started to look at our customer segment, we recognized that they were using our TRD Pros to do a great many things because the truck is incredibly capable. They were rock crawling and they were camping and they were doing overlanding. And as we started to see this overlanding trend grow, this sort of outdoor active adventure, and really a little differentiation between the two. One is really speed inspired. The other is more get to go out and be part of nature. And so we saw this new trend and we thought, how can we better service that customer? Enter Trail Hunter. Trail Hunter is all about having that ability to rock crawl, low speed, tactical driving while heavily laden. And that was the important differentiator. In a very simple way, TRD Pro, it's about going fast. Trail Hunter, it's about going far. So we thought about how do we want uh, then to design these trucks to give them that different point of view. And that really begins with the underbody, the underpitting, our TNGF platform we've been talking a lot about. And here we're featuring our Old Man Emu suspension. Now many of you may know Old Man Emu, they are a, a sub-brand of ARB, an Australian company who has um, been very, very active in outdoor uh, adventure, specifically in overlanding. Many would say Australia is the home of the sort of overlanding experience. So we looked to make some partnerships, especially on this truck, with uh, partners who had very credible off-road know-how and knowledge. And this wasn't about just buying their products and putting them on our car, it was, or putting them on our truck. It was about working with them so that we could ensure that we had a complete integration across the entire truck. And we will talk about that here in just a little bit. The other item about this was we recognize that in the truck market, at least from my point of view, it still seems our customers are incredibly passionate about their vehicles. 
and we love that. People who are passionate about what they do and their vehicles and how they use their vehicles. What that means is people are looking to personalize and they're looking to customize their vehicles. And so we thought, how can we better service that customer? Where can we add value and how can we make this experience better? And perhaps more so than any other single truck, uh, truck that we are offering today, this one really exemplifies that. And what, I, what do I mean by that? Well, we went to think about, these are the things that people are going to do. They're going to add underbody protection. On this truck, we have a front skid plate. It's made out of a high density, uh, hot form steel, or I should say a high strength hot form steel. We have undercarriage protection uh, along the mid belly, fuel tank protector, and uh, protector on the rear diff. You'll notice along here, we have rock sliders. Those are good to half GVW. Those are bolted directly to the frame. Now, as we had to make that solution, we also said, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and pass on those same attachment points across all of our trucks. So our customers, if they choose, for example, if they had a off-road uh, TRD, no problem, and they wanna buy these, bolt straight on. We put those provisions in there, making them accessible for our customers to use. Let's say you have a different company that you'd rather use. No problem, the accommodations are there. As you move to the back, you'll see other things, but look, before I go to the back, we'll even start here with our high mount uh, uh, air intake. This is something that's important when you're running down those dusty trails. This comes standard on the Trail Hunter. It is optional on the Pro. And as you move a little bit towards the back, you'll start to see other areas. Again, our partnership with ARB, our sport rack. Now this sport rack with the Molly panel is great for carrying a jerry can or, or something that you need to, to mount to the side. The good part, the nice part is, you can also get a full length deck rack. You can see that back in the back on our JBL truck. But what we can do is actually reuse this component piece so you don't have to get rid of all of this and the rest of it becomes convertible to the full rack. Scene lighting, really important when you're camping, when you're overlanding, when you're moving around the truck at night. We always have our, our, our courtesy lamps that we have over here. We also provide scene lighting in the deck and this allows you to come down and see what's happening. Imagine a rooftop tent, you're coming down the ladder, really easy to see where you're gonna land. Around the back of the truck, um, we'll start back here with the bumper, the rear steel bumper, and again, another collaboration uh, with ARB. And um, this is really important because this is where we talked about bringing value to that customer. Very difficult to install a rear bumper and maintain the, the electronics, specifically the blind spot monitor that's back here, and also um, the uh, rear sonar assist. When you have these type of systems, uh, obviously metal bumpers cause a lot of reflection, you can get false positives. So this is an area where how do we do better? Well working with ARB, we can develop this to our quality standards, but we can also make sure that it's integrated to our truck platforms. Now, the great part is you say, well, I might want that steel bumper on my TRD off-road. Not a problem. <clears throat> it's convertible back. We can reuse the same hardware, and we provide you with a small uh, grommet here that will allow you to reuse the same hardware so we can reduce your cost and you can still have that same total integration. On the bottom, our ARB recovery points. These are good for one and a half times GPW. Those are bolted directly through the frame. And again, the same accommodations are made on all of our off-road trucks. We have those collars that are welded inside of the frame so that you can have that good, good clamp force that you're gonna need without crushing the frame and make sure that you have that superior recovery point. Down here, and you can see over on our model over here is our high lift, integrated high lift jack point. When you're on the trail, when you're off-roading, Sometimes things happen and you're gonna to have to make a repair. You're gonna to have to change out a tire, for example. We wanna make sure it's as easy as possible. With this high clearance bumper, we allow you to get right in there and basically jack the truck up. That is on all of our models as well. Of course, our power assist tailgate. Inside the deck, again, thinking about our customers in mind, one of, the most, uh, one of the most common things that most people do when they're off-road is first air down those tires. In here is an onboard air compressor. You can control it here. You can have your favorite preset settings already set there. So if you know the trail you're running on, you can set those tire pressures, press a button, and it'll automatically air down. Or at the end of the trail, air back up. Uh, you can also uh, see here there are USB uh, plugs as well. Uh, type C and then we have the 12 volt here on this side. So this is where all your 12 volt power is. On the other side we're offering a 2400 watt uh, basically AC power. So that is both in the cabin, 
as well as in the deck. And that's great for running all those appliances that you might need when you're roughing it off off-road, the, the refrigerator and the coffee maker. You know, we can't, we can't be barbaric or beastly. Right? We have to have our, our amenities. But in any case, these are things that our customers love. These are things of how they use their truck. And so we wanted to make sure that we were providing all of that for them. And we've done so in a way that's convenient and you don't have to give up any space in your deck. If we move one more time, you'll also notice here, uh, again, our ARB absorbers, talking a little bit about those. Um, these are intentionally built uh, in such a way that we have really good on-road compliance because as we're overlanding, it's about that trip. It's about the travel to the trail as well as uh, the experience on the trail. We're using bypasses and end stop control then in those higher energy events off-road to make sure that we're not bottoming out and especially we're being tuned for a little bit heavier payload because we're assuming these trucks are going to be well filled. So that's a really quick high, uh, a high overview of our Trail Hunter.